one of the great joys of this job is teaching the confirmation class each Sunday. And this past Sunday, we were talking about salvation. And we read Ephesians chapter 2. Let me read you a few of the verses we read together in class. God is rich in mercy. He brought us to life with Christ while we were dead as a result of those things that we did wrong. He did this because of the great love that he has for us. You are saved by God's grace. And God raised us up and seated us in the heavens with Christ Jesus. God did this to show future generations the greatness of his grace by the goodness that God has shown us in Christ Jesus. You are saved by God's grace because of your faith. This salvation is God's gift. It is not something you possessed. It's not something you did that you can be proud of. Instead, we are God's accomplishment, created in Christ Jesus to do good things. God planned for these good things to be the way that we would live our lives. After we read that, I asked the students, what do you have to do to receive salvation? And in a moment of kind of humor for me about their reading comprehension, which is not a critique, but they raised their, they started calling out, oh, we need to pray and we need to give to missions and we need to go on mission trips and we need to come to church more and we need to be in our Bible more and we need to, we need to do this and that and we need to not sin so much and this whole list. And I, after a few seconds or maybe a minute, I said, stop, stop. Y'all go back and read verse eight. Read it out loud. You are saved by God's grace because of your faith. This salvation is God's gift. It's not something you possess. I said, keep going. It's not something that you did that you can be proud of. Okay, so what do you need to do for salvation? Well, we need to pray and go to church. No, no, no. Stop. Listen. You were saved by God's grace because of your faith. This salvation is God's gift. It is not something you possessed. There's nothing you can do to earn God's salvation. Nothing. Now, praying and coming to church and being in a community and doing missions and serving with and for others are absolutely 100% things, I think, that can help you in your journey of faith. Absolutely. If I didn't think they were important, one, I wouldn't have this job because it would be pointless. And, um, well, the things that embolden my faith wouldn't be there. But there is nothing, nothing we can do to possess, to earn, to achieve salvation. It's why I got this new little pennant. It was a pre-order with a book, and it says, Good Enough. I'm good enough when I just try to be faithful. I am good enough when I'm stumbling towards God's light. I am good enough to be saved just as I am when I confess and am honest. So crack open your Bible or replay the beginning of this. There is nothing you can do to earn, possess, meet, reach salvation. It is your faith in God. So work to let that be good enough 